5.4 practice problems. Which of the following represents the overall chemical reaction for a uh, chemical equation for the reaction and the rate law for the elementary step two? So um, for the overall um, reaction, we are just going to uh, keep things that uh, only appear on uh, one side of the um, equation here. So anything that appears twice is going to be uh, eliminated. If it appears on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, that means that it is uh, an intermediary step, and so that's going to go away. And so I would be left with uh, 1H2, 2 um, ICLs, 2 HCLs, and then 1 I2. So I'm going to get rid of anything that does not um, match that. So that gets rid of option choices A and C. And I am left with option choices uh, B and D. So then I am looking for the overall uh, rate law when I am uh, dealing with uh, the um, reactants or uh, yeah, the reactants for uh, step two. So um, this is going to be easily eliminated because this is uh, step one, but I am looking for step two. So option choice D is the only one that matches the uh, simplified equation and also for the rate law uh, only includes the reactants in step two as my um, rate law. A two-step uh, reaction mechanism is proposed for the gas phase reaction as represented above. Which of the following correctly identifies both the chemical equation for step one and the rate law for the overall reaction? So again, um, we are going to be uh, eliminating anything that appears um, in the exact same form uh, for um, both uh, on both sides. And so this intermediary of nitrogen uh, dioxide is going to be eliminated. And uh, the um, Oh, my apologies. Um, uh, step one is not written out, and so we kind of have to do a little bit of puzzle solving uh, to figure out what had to be in step one in order for this to be the net. Now, um, in order for um, NO2 to appear in the reactant side of the net, uh, that means that step one has to have NO2 present on the reactant side of the net. The carbon monoxide is um, stated and it does stick through. Then we have uh, the nitrogen monoxide present in the net. And so we definitely need that uh, to appear. And um, I can see that NO3 does not make it through to the net equation. So um, that means that it must appear on both the reactants and the product side. So that means that that has to be um, one of my products. Now, as I look through the um, option choices here, the only ones that allow for the appearance of the things that were missing and the cancellation of the things uh, that uh, no longer appear is going to be option choice A. Uh, nitrogen monoxide and oxygen react to form nitrogen dioxide. The rate law for the reaction is K, uh, nitrogen monoxide squared, and oxygen. Um, if the reaction occurs in a single elementary step uh, that there is a three-body molecular collision, when uh, then which of the following is the equation for that elementary step? So it says that we are going to uh, be forming in a single elementary step. So that means we only get um, one shot at this. We are not going to have 
uh, multiple pieces. So that means I need nitrogen monoxide and oxygen forming nitrogen dioxide. And the only reaction where that is present is going to be option choice B. And so that is going to be my final answer.